Hello, Yellow Jackets. My name is Roman Taylor, and this is KGI News. Junior and Senior Prom is this Saturday, the 24th. It'll be from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is your last chance to purchase a ticket, so sign a form and turn it in while you still can. Hey, Jacket, are you interested in running for a student council office? Student council offices are open to anyone and everyone who would like to be a part of student leadership on campus. Stop by Mr. Johnson's room for information and application in room 910 in the Freshman Center. We will have a mandatory informational meeting Tuesday, April 27th at 7.30 in Mr. Johnson's room. Go over the guidelines and timeline. Speak to Mr. Johnson if you have a conflict. Come get the info and be a part of making CHS the best we can be for every student. Now over to Ethan for sports. Thanks, Roman. On Monday, softball lost to Southmore 16-6. On Tuesday, the game against Mustang was canceled. Baseball is playing the Guthrie 89er today and tomorrow. Boys and girls soccer played on Tuesday. They took on Lawton. Girls won 10-0 and boys won 4-0. On April 20th, the Choctaw High School boys and girls tennis teams completed in the Western Heights Varsity Tennis Tournament. Both teams came up out on top as the tournament champions. Senior Pierre Guerra placed fourth in one singles. Sophomore Landry Donaldson was second in two singles. Seniors Braden Kalsu and Daniel Lewis were one doubles champions. And freshman brothers Lucas Nichols and Marcus Nichols were two doubles champions. For the girls' teams, junior Shelby Massengale was placed third as Choctaw's won singles. Senior Hadley McNeely was the two ch singles champion. Senior Kaylee Bortley and junior Mackenzie Butler were the one doubles champion. And juniors Chloe Perchez and Cayman Ross were champions of two doubles. Now, back to you, Roman. Thanks, Ethan. We hope you enjoyed this week of KGI News. Now over to Garrison in the Corridor and enjoy your weekend. Uh, this is Garrison in the Corridors, um, the prom episode. Later on, we are going to have TikTok star Landon Michael Bragg on our show. Who's more attractive, Chris Hemsworth or Liam Hemsworth? Welcome to the world's first premiere episode of Garrison in the Corridors. I'm your host, Garrison Brown, and today we are here with TikTok famous, dare I say TikTok star, uh, Landon Michael Bragg. How are you doing today, Landon? Doing splendid. That is awesome. That is wonderful. All right, well, we're just going to get right down to it. Uh, why did you start doing TikToks? So quarantine happened uh, last year after spring break, and mm -hmm. so... Downloaded the app, friends told me about it, and uh, I got tired of just watching them, and I decided to start making funny content. That's where it started. That's fair. And you consider this funny content. What are you supposed to do all day while you're at school? I don't know. What do you normally do when I'm gone? Wait for you to get back. Okay, so right there, you imply, uh, first of all, that you have a girl. Second of all, that uh, you wait for her to return when she leaves. Why is that? You miss somebody after a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, and it sets deep. How long were we talking? Like she's gone a week in Florida? Uh, no, she was actually gone for two months. Uh, Massachusetts. So. Wow. Very, very impressive. It didn't last very long. It's already. Um, how has this uh, TikTok stardom that you have accrued here? Uh, Five hundred and ninety-eight point one thousand followers. That's a some pretty impressive numbers, right there. Only following eighty-nine people. Yeah, I'm, I'm very greedy with following people back. Mm -hmm. um, I mainly follow people that are other funny content creators mm -hmm. or um, girls I find attractive. But mainly, though, That's I follow the people that I can get ideas from or make ideas better from every now and then. Other okay. than that, most of it's straight up my content. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not trying to imply anything here, but uh, you kind of insinuated there that you uh, steal other content creators' ideas. Yes, yes, that I do do. Uh -huh. I, uh, I'm not very that original. There's a lot of um, 
trends that go around and uh, mm-hmm. I cop in on the trends and make it 10 times funnier and then get the followers from that. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, 14.1 million likes right there. You're yes. an avid TikTok I am, user. I am proud of that. I see. That is uh, very good. How has this TikTok fame changed you as a person if you had to put it into words? Um, so without <clears throat> ever having TikTok, I probably would have just graduated high school and gone to the military or worked at uh, Tinker. Um, but uh, after uh, high school, I'm moving to um, Utah, Salt Lake City, Very and nice. I'm going to become a model. I thought you were going and to California. That has changed. Too expensive, and people are leaving. So Fair enough. To. Yeah. I'm going to make my own content house in Utah with a few buddies. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. All right. Uh, let's dive into some of your work here. Uh, I will say we did have to uh, <laughs> scour his account for school-appropriate videos. So uh, if you are a young child, uh, perhaps a freshman who is uh, a little bit eerie when it comes to things like this, maybe just look away. Okay, for this first one, I'm going to do a little play-by-play here. Uh, You say, hey, doc, uh, what's your zodiac sign? I assume this is you talking to your doctor. Yes. Um, Maybe when you broke your collarbone, was it, this is a real experience that happened to you, I'm sure. (laughs) <laughs> Definitely not. Yes. Okay. So you ask him what his zodiac sign is. Yes. Um, the doctor then replies, uh, he's a Capricorn. Uh, what is your sign? Now, you being who you are and the way you are, I'm sure that was kind of a weird interaction for you um, uh, to have the doctor ask you the same question. For back. sure. How did yeah. that feel in um, that moment? Excitement because he actually like comprehended back with me and he actually was like, all right, I was talking about for sure, for sure. He was, he was open to a dialogue. Exactly. That, that's very important with your doctor. So yes. I assume. Okay. Um, you reply, uh, cancer, and then bite your lip in a very seductive manner. Yes. Uh, that, is that huge. I'm not sure if we can show that. Um, the doctor replies, how bizarre, and you lose your mind right there. Yes. Now. I feel like this is a little bit of an allegory to your mental uh, standpoint right now in life. Do you feel that you are a cancer or a blight on other people's happiness? Uh, no, and I'm honestly definitely not even a cancer. Okay, I'm what a is Capricorn. Your, you're a Capricorn. Yeah, okay, I am a Capricorn. so were you, were you saying that you were the doctor in this situation? Uh, no, okay. no. I just changed up how the doctor could have put it. Okay, see, because when I, when yeah. I see something like this, I want to really dive into it. So I, I was just wondering if you you were saying that you were the doctor, as in uh, the people who come into your life, you kind of help to reshape them and uh, build them back up, you know? That, yes, that's exactly, that, exactly. Okay, you know okay yeah, yeah, so it was, see, yeah. sometimes you do have to pry you for do. that kind of information. You really do. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the next one that I had picked out right here. I think it's, he, he's so done with girls. Let's see this. Lyndon right here uh, says he's so done with girls. And then proceeds to say, <clears throat> as you do when you are done with girls. Parentheses. Yeah, parentheses. Yes. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, her, she says, um, you want me, and you say, you want I me. want you, baby. Can you tell me about that a little bit, please? So, um, this is like one of the trends I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to hop onto it, and I made it ten times funnier because my face, mm-hmm. the way you, uh, you got to, like, face interactions with the... Uh, Followers, you gotta make it funny, you gotta make it awkward, yeah, and course. it gets more likes and views. Of course, of course. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, if the uh, if the TikTok fame doesn't bring you to where you want, at least you know you have a very promising career as uh, an actor on the horizon. Yes, that is honestly true, yes. yes. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's keep her going down here. Can't do that. <laughs> let's do... Uh, Let's do this one. That was this. Whoa, 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 hold the horses. Who are you texting? No one, just my friend Avery. Avery, a- Avery. Is it a girl's name or a boy's name? Does it matter? No, no, it doesn't matter unless it's a boy. I don't think I really like that because it, the, the audio doesn't really line up with the, the yeah, the lip syncing. Yeah. Um, but on my phone, it looks normal. Yeah, not a great ADR performance there. Uh, anyway, moving past that, um, is this something that you have experienced in your life? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, trust issues with girls? Uh, mm-hmm. Most, yes. Yeah, why yes. is that? Um, is it because, I, I mean... From past relationships. Experience. Okay, okay, I was going to say, Ex- yes. I, I could somewhat infer that uh, with the uh, the following that you have gained here, um, 
sometimes you can't tell if those people are genuine or if they are there uh, to obtain the clout. Yes, as the kids would perfect say. Perfect way of saying it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of clout, right here. <laughs> oh my God, he's dead! No. Oh my very God. good. So not only do you that have a popular uh, TikTok trend sound with the, oh my God, he's dead. Yeah. Um, but you do have uh, Gangnam Style in the background. Very yes. popular song, yes. I believe 2014, 2015. 2012. 2012. God. 2012. Wow. Okay. So Gangnam Style 2012 really popped off. Um, very, very important cultural touchstone there for us as a people. Um, then on top of that, you have the Minecraft experience noise. Now, was that intentional, or do you really believe that you are leveling up as a person because of, of this TikTok? Yeah. Due to clout? Is that the question is? Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm getting higher and more known with the more followers I have received over the past days. Yeah. I see. I see. You are very, very close to how, how many followers? 600,000. I'll be there tomorrow, hopefully. Very, very nice. All right, let's uh, let's keep going down the list here. That one's a good one right there. This? I got a broken collarbone. It's kind of hard to do that. Yeah, that one. Mm, yeah. Sarah! Oh. Sarah was finally... Okay, so you, you uh, love uh, telling your... This is you telling your therapist uh, how you love getting tattoos. Um, yes. Let me just pry on that for a second. How many tattoos do you have? I have 12, and I just got two yesterday. 12 tattoos. Yeah. Okay, could you maybe show... Give us a tattoo tour. The uh, first Landon Bragg tattoo tour here. I'm wearing skinny jeans and most of them are on my uh, upper body too. Uh, this one I just mm -hmm. got, the smiley face, because uh, I make funny content and I decided to uh, make people smile, make people smile, so that's a good one. And then this one is actually uh, one that me and my buddy like, from Utah flew out for. We just went and got matching ones of toxic. There's a lot of toxic people, don't, don't like it, so uh, we got it. So, and uh, another one I can show is uh, uh, love all, trust you, everything's real, but not everyone's true. Um, I hate fake people. Like, no. straight up, like, uh, the first time you mess up, no more. Fair so. enough. What's the, uh, oh, the no, uh, the is that one just fun? My friend had a tattoo gun, and I decided just to try it out. I have a little bit of Indian in me. I was like, let's make, like, an Indian look type tattoo. Very so. nice. I actually really like that one. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get back to this. Just to reiterate, this is him telling his therapist how he loves to get tattoos. Um... Yes. Are you happy to see her? Caillou! Ni hao! What? Okay, your, your therapist then says, um, that is a form of self-harm. Now, not to really dig deep here today, but do you view it as a form of self-harm? I do not. No. Why is that? What What do you view it as? What, why are tattoos love, important for you? Love, okay, so I feel like, um, say I'm at 7-Eleven, and someone behind Which me. Which happens often, I'm sure. 7-Eleven trips. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's behind me, they see me. Without even talking, they can look at me and be like, I love this personality. Mm -hmm. All my tattoos have meanings. I don't get tattoos just for the cool looks of it. All, every single tattoo of mine has a meaning. So I want someone to be able to look at me and tell like, what, like what's about me. Yeah, so you so view it, you view your body not only as a temple, but as a journal, <laughs> is, is that what we're getting at here? I guess you can wear it like that, yeah. Every tattoo has a story, and you were just telling your story. Yes. Beautiful, okay. Uh, not gonna get into any of these uh, on this plane right here. Uh, if you wanna view those for yourself, let's just get a quick close up. Uh, Blondie Blue, right here. Uh, Landon Michael Bragg, very, very good man, uh, funny content creator. Um, let's get him to 600,000 followers. How about that? All right, let's uh, let's go back down. Back support down the your list high here. school friend. Yes, support your high school friend. Uh, was it was it this one? Oh yes. Okay. I'm bringing Brody back. Go ahead. So Landon says uh, that girl is cute. Um, that's all. Okay. Uh, his friend uh, then says um, that is Miles' sister, the girl that he was just uh, calling cute. Uh, that's Miles' sister, and his friend, he's got to tell Miles about that, because that's a no-no, okay? Okay. Uh, then, then he says that he was just playing. Now, uh, apart from that, do 
Do you truly believe that you are bringing booty back? <laughs> no. Okay, Is this serious? Then, then why did you uh, why did you use that sound? If you don't think that you are bringing booty back, what what made you use that? Okay, very so, heavy sound. So what I do is I find I find lyrics in songs that I can make a story behind to put into a TikTok. Okay. And so what this one was for the last skit, the last part was where I'm saying, no, I'm just playing. Mm -hmm. So I uh, made a story up and then put that I'm just playing into it. So it followed along with it, which is the most kind of stuff that blows up on TikTok for comedy people. So that's mm -hmm. what a lot of my stuff is on my page. Okay, so the anchor point here was the I'm just playing and not I'm bringing booty that back. you were in fact bringing booty back. Are you insinuating that uh, Miles' sister is bringing booty back? She could could have, but she no, that, none of that was back. situated into this TikTok. It was okay. just the sound that followed up for me to make the face okay. afterwards. Okay, let's see. Um, let's keep going here. Um, oh, right here. This is one of my personal favorites right here. I just love to imagine this scenario with me and Landon. Um, <laughs> I mean, come on, on guys. Hey, do we have this? Hey, this was a drink. I mean, come on. <laughs> Gary. Let's watch Jurassic Park, and every time we see a dinosaur, we kiss. If you haven't Most seen of Jurassic my Park, are girls. if you haven't seen Jurassic Park, there's a lot of dinosaurs in that movie, okay? So, anytime that you're hanging out with Landon Bragg and you're just thinking about giving him a little smooch, don't, why, don't, don't, why don't you pull up don't Jurassic get Park? Don't get caught up with watching dinosaurs. Okay. okay. The newest endeavor is a chip implanted into couples' brains. You're mad. Okay, what's happening here? Did I say Jurassic Park or Jurassic World? Okay, so he's getting out of the car. Uh, this is Jurassic Park, the first movie. He's taking off his sunglasses. Um, uh, yes, are we getting ready to kiss? This is what happened. This is what's happened. Okay. PDA. Yep, okay. PDA. They're getting out of the car, standing up. I don't see that. They're shocked. They're absolutely shocked. Thank you, Landon. Yes. For that. Um, anyways, uh, let's get let's get right back to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, now, is this just? Sorry, I'm a little. No, it's okay. It's a little frazzled. Are you wearing chapstick? No. Oh, no. Okay. I'm not. So, um, yeah. That they didn't get very many likes on that one. <laughs> Okay, can we get can we get a close up on you, gotta, you have to like on this right here? It's like a okay, yeah. And what what does this mean right it's here? It's like a gang thing, but you've seen a lot of girls post on Instagram. It's like a and, gang and thing. And TikTok caught on to it after a while. So now every time like you want to do something hot or like say like you're like you're cute, Landon. I'll be like I know, you know, makes sense. Yes, perfect, perfect way of explaining it. I feel. All right. Um, all right, let's uh, let's go deeper. Can you point out some? Uh, Should we some... mention how? Oh, I... okay, okay. Hold on. Is is this a uh, is this an appropriate one right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> now, Joshua, can you tell me what's wrong oh. with this right here? What's wrong with this? <laughs> Joshua Craig, get a, get a second opinion. When the Target security is chasing you for stealing. Yes. Um, who do you know that works at Target, Josh? Uh, Gary in the halls works at Target. You can see him throughout the week. He'll be there stocking the shelves. All right. Well, this has been uh, Garrison in the corridors. Uh, again, we are here with Landon Michael Bragg. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, Landon. Yeah, um, let's just go back to the top here. His tag is uh, Blondie okay, we can't, we can't Blue. B L O N D Y B L U. That is Landon Bragg. Uh, let's do our best to get him to 600,000 followers. Landon, COVID protocols, but Appreciate thank you very it, much for uh, yeah, for, for sure. coming here and doing this interview with us. Appreciate Pleasure your time. time. Pleasure to be here.
Who's more attractive, Chris Hemsworth or Liam Hem 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 Hemsworth? You guys going to prom? Yes. Yeah. What you doing for prom? Uh, maybe dinner. We're not sure yet. Yeah, we're still figuring that out.